Hello, hello. <laughs> if you're watching the stream after it goes up, it's my birthday. It's my 30th birthday, hence the little crown. For now, I'm going to take it off and put on headphones and stuff later when we get started reacting. But I'll have timestamps in the video because I think I'm going to hang out with chat for a while and celebrate my birthday. As always, uh, I have a few things to set up the stream, so I'm going to be working on that. Hello, everybody. Hello, hello, hello. Everyone coming in. Hi, Astro. <laughs> Hi, Tori. Thank you, guys. It's my birthday. It's my birthday. Wee. I'm so excited. Thank you all. <laughs> I can't hear anything because I decided to don the birthday crown for now. So just know that like I don't know if the music is good. I don't know if it's bad. Like I have no idea what's happening because I just I wanted to wear this until we started reacting or at least for a few minutes because um, it's a birthday crown. I kind of wear a birthday crown, right? It's my birthday. So thank you guys. Thank you so much for being here. Um, okay, so I need to do a couple of things before we start. Okay, doing that. And then, thank you guys! <laughs> hey, Mabel! And thank you to my wonderful, beautiful mods for being so freaking patient while I uh, got my stuff together. It just took me a little bit longer than I thought to get ready, um, mostly because... This is like my makeup for the night, man. Like after the, oh wait, which side is this on? I had to um, put these back on because I did check the volume of the music before I started. And I, uh, whoop, I got tangled. Oh man, is this thing gonna come off? Maybe, there we go. I think we're good. I think we're good. I love that. I love the crown, I love it so much. Also my shirt says, thank God for making me hot. Hold on, I'll move my mic. Do you see this? The thank God for making me hot. <laughs> I showed my mom and she was cracking up. That was the other reason I didn't um, get on earlier because my mom called me kind of unexpectedly. Um, and I had to talk to my mama. Had to talk to my mama. All right, we have to go into the control room. And then, okay, we're good there. Um, I already missed things. I've already missed things. Oh no. Oh dear God. Hold on. Sorry. Uh, let me see. Who did I miss? Happy seven months, Captain Zombie. <laughs> Captain Zombie Fans the Third. Love the tiara. Thank you. Thank you. I really think it makes a look. And then Dean, thank you for your uh, thank you for your super chat. I like your little guy you put in it. He's real cute. He's a little dude. He's a little dude. You guys, I still have to set up. Give me a second, give me a second. Hold on, hold on, hold on. Okay, Um. how am I gonna share this? Uh, I need to make sure that this video doesn't end up repeating for you guys. Also, is the music even playing? Oh yeah, it is, okay. <laughs> I couldn't find any like earbuds, like my actual earbuds that sometimes I'll like put into my iPhone. Number one, they have the iPhone charger, so they won't fit my computer but then number two um they broke so i had like no earbuds to just put in i just have my headphones so clearly i've gotta get new no no maple there is music it just may not be loud enough for you to hear it because again like i have no idea where the levels are at i just turned it up a tiny bit <laughs> okay 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 i need to share this and i will be right with you all i promise i know i have so many people to already thank um, let me hear. I don't want this to echo. It feels like a telephone. Okay. Ah, there we go. All right, I have the linky. And then I just need to post. And then we're going live, baby. And then we're going to chit chat. I had to renew my tags today. Do you guys like, if you're adults in this chat, Thank you guys so much. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Oh, I just got like balloons on my Gmail account. That was crazy. Um, but what was I about to tell you all? Um, I had to renew my tags today, which was kind of silly goofy. 
when you have to do things like that on your birthday, it's like, thank God I just didn't have to like renew my license or anything like that. Ah, you guys, you guys chill. Just give me a second. <laughs> You're all so freaking sweet. Thank you so much. I'm so sorry I'm missing so much in chat, but I will get to every single one of you, I promise. Um, okay, so I just need that link and then we're good. Um, but yeah, I had to renew my tags today. I also, um, I have to show you guys my birthday cake. I was gifted a birthday cake and I didn't know I was getting it. Like I had talked to this company about it. It's from, um, Crumbles Patisserie and Amanda. Amanda, no. Amanda, take it back. Don't do that. Amanda, I literally, I, you don't understand. I prepared for this. Amanda, I made plans for this, but I didn't make a plan for that. I have so many photos of various prisons I will put you into so that you can never give me another dollar of your money. But <laughs> I'm not ready yet. <laughs> give me a second. <laughs> I'm literally telling you, I like, I like stopped and like prepped last week after last stream. I prepped. I, I found so many prisons for both Cody and Amanda and Laura and Pluto. Pluto can go to jail too, actually. Not Pluto. Sorry. Pluto, you can stay out of jail. Pluto, you didn't do anything wrong. I was talking about static and I got confused. Um, birthday stream. Okay. Day. You guys, I can't keep up with all of this. I can't keep up. Um, Maple specifically, um, I'm gonna leave open my Discord since again I don't have audio on and let me know if anything happens between um wait, why is Discord not opening? Why is Discord not opening? Hello? Okay, that's weird. Oh no, Discord isn't opening. Okay, well, I guess I'll leave it open on my phone. That's weird. You guys, look at this photo. Just like... What? Come again? I look so hot today! Oh, I forgot to do my inner corner highlight. I'm gonna do that before I leave later. Um... Will this stream be uploaded tomorrow? Yes, it will. So if you can't stay, no worries. All right, you guys, I am sharing this stream to Twitter and Insta, and then I am with you, and I'm all yours, and we will chit and we will chat. And I'm sorry it took me so long to set this up. I want to say a massive thank you to everyone who's become a member in the last couple of minutes. Um, we have... Uh, Jolene with eight months of membership. That's amazing. Jess, thank you for seven months. Benny, thank you for two months. Stephanie, thank you for two months. Stephanie Brown. Um, and then, oh my God, thank you for 21 months. Mrs. Scarlett Akatsuki. And thank you for the happy birthday. Uh, and then who else has joined? Dean, thank you for uh, six months. Hope you've had an amazing, fabulous birthday today. Thank you so, so, so much. And then thank you to Jade, Altumna, and Dr. Brownstein for becoming a member. And if I miss anybody, I will come back. And I have not done super chats yet. Okay, is that story up? And then I'm just going to share it on TikTok. Okay. <laughs> the Lowy Mods tweet for my birthday is so cute. I just saw it. All right. I'm going to have Discord open on my phone because I have no idea um, what anything sounds like. Mods, please let me know if anything ends up sounding 
really weird. Um, but thank you guys all so much for being here today. It's my 30th birthday. I had like a really big cry today at midnight, not even because I was like, oh my God, I'm so old. Like I'm the crypt keeper, like I'm ancient. It was just like, oh my God, I'm so grateful. Like, I think that, um, you know, I think that the older you get, the more gratitude you have for continuing to, to be here. Uh, and I'm, I'm so thankful that I live a life in which I like, I don't know, I, I'm living my dream. I, every single dream I've ever had has come true. I'm so happy and I'm 30. And the fact that I am still here is crazy. I was like, I had like a big, oh my God, look at this shirt. It's so good, dude. I have to move my mic a little bit so you can really see it um oh i have not said thank you for any freaking super chats i'm sorry hold on um neon green thank you so much for your super chat you've been watching since 2017 that's such a long time thank you so much and then maury thank you for your happy birthday maury mikan um wishing all the happiness in the world looking gorgeous i love you i love you thank you pluto i love you thank you so much happy birthday Loie. i love you i love you Thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you. Um, and then Dean, I know you were our first super chat of the afternoon. Thank you so much. Um, and then we have all of those new members. I think I said thank you to everybody for that. If I end up not thanking you, you can you can tell me in chat, please do. Hey, Reyna, thanks for being here. Happy birthday, girl. Thank you so much. <laughs> Um, Bean Socks, thank you for your super chat. I usually miss streams, but I'm glad I caught this. Happy birthday, beautiful. I hope it's great. So far, so freaking good. Taylor, thank you for your super chat. And then Salty, um, happy birthday, Loie. Thank you. <laughs> thank you. It's my birthday. Uh, BTP with a little star. Happy birthday, Loie. Thank you so much. Amanda, we're going to come back to you. Don't you worry. Super Sam 1397, Princess Loie. Thank you. Thank you. Oh, Dean, thank you for six months also. And then that was Jade, Autumna, and Dr. Bronstein who joined the memberships. Ellie, thank you for your super chat. Happy birthday, Queen. So happy we get to spend it with, uh, we get to spend it with you. Sorry, I can't read. Love you millions. Love you more. And then Kayla, thank you so much. Happy birthday, Loie. I love your videos. I love you. All right, so Amanda. Amanda, 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 Amanda. I want to say the most monumental thank you for that absolutely ridiculous ridiculously generous super chat however we're not doing this today okay we're not we're not doing this again and so i will be from here on out um putting you inside a prison now i know that previously my prisons have not contained amanda i know that previously i put amanda into jail and amanda has continued to just do whatever amanda's going to do but i came up with a foolproof plan in order to contain them and it comes in the form of i found this like poly pocket i think i just kept saying poly pocket poly pocket like in my my phone over and over so on my alt account i was recommended this like um this poly pocket like they make custom poly pockets and then i fell into a rabbit hole but i found this i found this and this is where amanda again so ridiculously generous thank you so much i love you so much i don't even think i finished reading your message happy birthday to the greatest icon there is you're in here by the way happy I'm, I'm we're taking this together um, happy birthday to the greatest icon there is. I hope your day is wonderful and this year is filled with wonder, luck, joy, and love. You're an amazing person to deserve all the love you get. I love you so much. Stay in there. <laughs> That's you. <laughs> That's literally you. Um, <laughs> out of body paranormal thanks for two months you've been watching since 2015 and that's amazing oh gosh ghost d also thank you for your super chat you've been watching since 2018 oh my god thank you guys so 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 much for being here for so long the prison is funny cassie but it's also so serious like i'm not i am not playing around it is maximum security like we have the ring and when the ring will not be on my hand the ring will be in a maximum security box um but jade thank you i love you thank you so much for making me happy and giving me so much happiness that i'm down happy birthday and you look stunning as always i love you thank you so much 
Um, okay, I need to check the Discord apparently. I'm checking, I'm checking, I'm checking! You guys made me a birthday server? Stop! My mods made me a birthday server! Aww! You guys! Thank you! I can't wait to read all of these! Aw, I love you so much. Thank you. I cannot wait to read these. I've never gotten one of these before. Oh my god, Dory, you're bunny. Taylor Swift. Ah, I'm gonna scream. Thank you, guys. Aw, thank you, mods. That's so sweet. I wish I could show this. Discord, like, won't open on my computer for some reason. But, like... Oh, cinema roll. It's so cute. Wait, did somebody make me a video? Did you guys make me a video? It says happy birthday, Joey. Incredible. I, I, I really like that. I really like that. There's a dinosaur with a hat on. Oh, Astro, I love you. I love that picture of us. Cry. Thank you guys so much. Thank you for that. I love you so much. Lee, thank you for your super chat. Happy birthday. This is the first live I'm catching. I found you because of the welcome home videos. I'm absolutely obsessed. Love you. I love you more. Thank you for being here on my birthday. It was Pat. Wait, Pat put it together. It was Pat's idea. Or was it Pat with the Joey video? Was it Pat with the Joey video? Is that what you guys are saying? I, I thought it was Pat's. Oh no, okay, it was just Pat with the Joey video. I was about to like start weeping if it was Pat who put all that together. <laughs> I was like, what? <laughs> I love Pat's video. Um, <laughs> thank you guys. Thank you so much. So I've had a really good day. Um, like I said, I wound up just like being really teary last night. I, um, I think on every major life event, I just miss my dad, you know, and I know every single time, um, that like a big life event will happen. I will miss my dad. And I've started just like giving myself permission to cry. When I feel it, I just cry. I just cry it out. I don't care where I am. Last night it was on my best friend's kitchen floor while she was cut cutting her hair, literally on Eleanor's kitchen floor after like the weirdest day of my life yesterday on birthday Eve, um, just like crying hysterically. And she had to stop cutting her hair and like come over and like rub my back and hold me while I sobbed. But it was really, I, I felt like a lot of stuff yesterday. Um, and after that, I like, I don't know, like, I think it's so cool because I genuinely have been through a lot. And I don't talk about like my personal life too terribly much on the internet. I also don't talk about things that I'm going through very much, like ever. Um, I really just started vlogging for my members. I, I, I don't have like any other like personal stuff online. Um, so it's like, it, I, I've just been through a lot in my twenties, <laughs> like a lot in my twenties <laughs> and it kind of feels like a really fresh, wonderful start. It just feels like a good start, a good fresh start. And I don't know. I love my birthday, man. It's my favorite day. I'm a Taurus. I, I We love when things are about us. I'm still missing things. Um, Jade, thank you again. You are so insanely generous. Um, first live I've caught. Been loving you since 2014. Thank you so much. Oh, there's two Jades. There's Jade Mitchell and then there's Jade Williams. Jade Mitchell said, first live you caught. Loved you since 2014. Love you. And then happy freaking 30th, Loey from Jade Williams. Welcome to the Cool Kids Club. I promise you're going to love your 30s. Thanks for letting us share your special day with you. I am really excited to spend a little bit of time with you guys. We're going to, you know, watch a little bit of scary stuff. So it's not just me sitting here talking about my big birthday, whatever. Um, but I, I am excited and I really wanted to make time to um, stream this. I wasn't able to get up a video other than the one that I uploaded earlier this week. I've been trying to get closer to like two. Oh, it was Hecate's idea. Hecate, Hecate's idea. 
never say it. I say that word differently every single time I say it. Um, Astro, I love you so much. I love you so much. I love you so much. Actually, Astro, before I forget, I'm going to text you right now because I, I will forget. I have forgotten for days. Um, Okay, I just texted you, Astro. <laughs> um, but thank you for that, Astro. I love you so much. Uh, Linus, happy birthday. I hope you have the best birthday and have the most fun. I've been watching you for years and love all your videos. I love you so much. Thank you so much. Thank you. Uh, Kitsu Curry, thank you for your super chat. Happy birthday, Lily Minds in five days. Happy birthday, Gemini icon. You look stunning. I hope you get a special Jello from the Jello Man. I really do too. I did get a delivery, but I don't think it's from the Jello Man. I'm gonna tell you guys about that in a minute though. Um, <laughs> Haley, thanks for becoming a member. Happy birthday, making special brownies. Love and hope it's an honor of my day. The only reason I am not um, absolutely blitzed on the floor is because I wanted to talk with you guys first. So, and I, uh, I cannot, I, I really cannot like stream blitz. I really like, I, I guess I could probably do it a little bit tipsy, but I haven't started drinking, smoking, like anything like that for the day. Um, I really like, this is the first thing I've done. I kind of had a weird morning, but I'll tell you guys more in a sec. Um, I hope I'm saying your name correctly. Gure, Gure, Straws. Um, love you to bits, girl. Keep slang. Thank you so much. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Love you. And then Beanstalk, so proud of you for making it through to continue to shine. Thank you, guys! So, yeah, rang in my 30th, crying my best friend's kitchen floor. Really, like, iconic behavior, right? Oh my god, Lushana! Congratulations, my little birthday twin! Happy birthday! Happy birthday! Oh my god! Yay, we're birthday twins! I love that. We're also birthday twins with Cher. I don't know if you know, but I know that we're birthday twins with Cher. So today, um, woke up at like 10, and I had somehow, if you guys watch my regular videos when I like film in my bedroom with like my, my neon lights and like my little whatever, I have this Squishmallow lamp um, on my bedside table. Like, I, I, like, filled it with mini, like, squish, squish fills. I don't really know the difference. I just thought it was really cute. Um, and I, like, in the middle of the night heard something shatter. And I, like, look over, because I always keep my phone plugged into that lamp. It also has, like, a USB outlet. So it's, like, I, I saw that it had fully, I mean, fully, fully shattered on the floor. Like, my, um my fillable lamp like all of the squish little guys were everywhere the glass was everywhere and i was just like did i like I, I i don't know like it's just it's on my bedside table and nothing else was on the floor it was just my lamp and i was like that's really weird but i just assumed it was the bulb that broke it was the entire lamp I didn't realize in the middle of the freaking night, so I had to sweep up glass first thing this morning, which, <laughs> you know, um, in the middle of the night, I didn't even think about it, or else I would have, because my cat sleeps in my bedroom every single night, my cat Gigi, but luckily she didn't get hurt. I checked all of her little, um, her little pawsies. So that was weird. Do I think it's paranormal? I'm gonna say it is, because, um, what? Like, just like a, a a lamp broken in the middle of the night? Isn't that random? I just felt like it was so weird because I've knocked that lamp off the table before. Like, I've knocked that lamp over. I also have multiple of that lamp in my house, just like filled with other stuff or whatever, and it's never broken like that. Like, I don't know how it fell in the middle of the night and shattered, but... Um... Eee! I'm excited, Astro. Astro's coming to my party. Um... What was I going to show you guys? And then, and then, so then I set that up, got ready, ate my Uncrustable for breakfast. It was a delicious, wonderful time. And then I got a knock on the door. 
And I literally, I, I almost wish I still had this, this out so I could show you guys, but like I, I wouldn't be able to hold it up for you. And I think that I would drop it in the process. It's also massive. And when I tell you massive, so this company, Crumbles Patisserie, they reach out to me and they're like, can we make your birthday cake? And I'm like, yeah, you can make my birthday cake. Thank you so much. That would be so nice. And they were like, well, what do you like? Like, what's the theme? What's going down? And I was like, oh, it's going to be glittery. It's going to be pink. It's going to be, it's a dirty 30, baby. We're all, we're all dressing like sluts. Like my nipples will be out. Like we are being sluts. So please give, Amanda, Amanda, you are, no. How did she get out? How did she escape? Amanda, how did you escape? Oh, did you see that? I thought you might like the Phantom of the Opera Polly Pocket House. I'll have to show that on stream too. Thank you so much, Amanda. I love you. Happy birthday. <laughs> happy, happy birthday. A happy birthday to you. Um, you like the Phantom, yeah. And then I hope you have a good day. Thank you so much. I love you. I'm putting you back in prison now. Um, so... But, but like this company asks this and after I tell them like the details and they're like, okay, so like roughly, you know, delivery, whatever, they didn't message me back. And I kind of just assumed like, like I told them, you know, Saturday, I'll be home until like my party, whatever. Um, but they didn't say anything back. And I was just like, oh, that's okay. It was really, I just assumed it had gotten too close. They couldn't do it, whatever. So I order my guests for my birthday, 24 cupcakes from Sprinkles. And that's fine because some of my people are vegan. Some of them, you know, have allergies and stuff. So cupcakes are almost easier. So we can just have like various desserts. And I, so I really want to make this so clear that somehow I'm going to have to make everyone in the room eat 24 cupcakes tonight. You're not ready for this. You're literally not ready for... This is my birthday cake. I really don't know how to explain to you enough that that's my fucking birthday cake. Are you kidding? Are you joking? Like, actually, are you joking? What? And it's massive, dude. It's so big. It's like both of them, the three and the zero are full size cakes. <laughs> like, what am I going to do? But it was so, it's like the prettiest cake I've ever gotten in my life. It's so pretty and it has like fresh flowers and stuff. So I'm going to take like some really pretty pictures with it later, but I cannot begin to tell you, I showed my mom and she was like, oh, well that's really cool. And I was like, you don't understand. It's huge. And so I put my hand like in front of the cake to show her. And she was like, Oh my God, like it is a massive cake. I have no idea what we're gonna do. I have no idea what we're gonna do. Anyways, um, <laughs> Maya CEO, thanks for joining the channel memberships. Happy birthday, I appreciate you. And then Catbug F4, happy birthday. So much love for you, you look beautiful. Hope you have the best day ever. Thank you very much. Avery, first time catching one of these live. Um, I'm so excited. Love you so much, Queen. I've watched you for years. Happy birthday, Queen! Thank you! Thank you, thank you, thank you. And thank you for being here. I'm happy to have you. Oh, Cass, that's so... You're so sweet. Thank you very much. I appreciate that. And I will have a drink in your honor, I promise. Faith, thank you. Happy birthday to the best YouTuber. My first time checking you live. Thanks for being here, babe. I love you. Kelly, thank you so much. Happy birthday, cutie pie. You look hot. I really think I do. I really think I like look hot, like hot. Also, the fits for tonight are gonna go so stupid. You have no idea how hard the fits go tonight. I have outfit changes. I have outfit changes. Yeah, calm kawaii. I'm glad that you're here on this live. <laughs> yeah, it's my birthday. That's why I'm being obnoxious. Um. But wait, what was I just saying? I don't remember. It's completely gone. Kelly, thank you. I love you so much. And then uh, Ama School Buddies 101, thank you. Happy birthday to the amazing and beautiful queen. And then Ari, thank you for your super chat. Amanda, you're in jail. Bean socks. I promise this is the last one, but I will be sending spooky stories soon. I will hold you to that, Beans. I will hold you to that. Happy birthday again. Thank you so much, Bean. I appreciate you. And then Moonbeam, hello, Loey, happy birthday. I've been watching since your Unfold, un Unsolved episode and you're such an inspiration for me. I love you. I forget sometimes that Unsolved has like, 
Like, I, doing that episode was so fun, and I was such a fan of Unsolved, but sometimes I forget that, like, sometimes I forget that that has, like, I don't even know how many views, actually. Should I check? Should I see? Should I see? Um. Oh, that has 12 million views. That, wow, incredible. Um, sometimes I forget that that video had 12 million views. And then sometimes people will be like, I'll literally get recognized on the street by people who do not really know who I am in any capacity who are like, I saw your Buzzfeed Unsolved video. And I was like, that's crazy. <laughs> like, Rami, I am planning on getting a PO box very soon and I will let the mods know first. Don't worry, but thank you so much. Um, and then Moonbeam, I think I said thank you. I don't know if I did. Um, oh yes, the unsolved. Thank you so much for being here. Thanks for liking me. Like I said, sometimes people just like know who I am from, you know, like obviously, and that's completely fine. Sometimes people don't really watch me. They just like, know why have I been live for 30 minutes? That's crazy. Why is it flying by? Oh, I'm so sad. I will have to leave probably around like, like within the next hour and a half. Um, but I don't wanna. <laughs> Uh, wait, what's I gonna say? Oh, Olive, thank you for your super chats. Love you so much. Happy birthday, Louie. Thank you. And then Katie, thank you for joining the memberships. Summit, thank you for your super chat. Happy V Day, Louie. Love from India. Slay Queen, thank you so much. I bought, um, I bought Indian perfume the other day for the first time, and it is real freaking nice. I wanna go to India, actually. So, that's what's going on. That's what's been happening. I got that cake. I've just gotten ready all day. I can't decide if I even like my hair. I'm not gonna lie to you. It may end up going half up. Oh, I was talking about outfit changes. Thank you. You guys have no idea. Do you want to see one of them? Do you want to see one of them? I can't show you all of them because again, my, my nipples, they were out. I have pasties for this outfit, but like I can't show it. And I only have one pair of um, pasties, but I will show you, um, I will show you my actual, here's the thing. I'm doing, I'm doing multiple outfit changes. I have one outfit for stream. I'm wearing this, thank God for making me hot shirt. And then I'm just wearing my little, my little pink. Can you see that? Like a little pink skirt with the shorts. Um, but, so I have that. My friends and I are throwing a death to my youth. I, I thought about doing that, uh, Wraith. I thought about doing like a death to my youth, like a, a RIP, like whatever. Um, <laughs> but I don't know. I feel like I, I probably would have actually gotten sad if I had done that, but I think it's a cute theme. I just don't think I personally could have handled it. So again, I have an outfit for streaming. I have an outfit for dinner. I'm going to a dinner with my bestie. I am very excited. Um, and then, what was I gonna say? Outfit for streaming, outfit for dinner. Um, and then I think I'll have an arrival outfit to my karaoke party. I don't really know what it's gonna be yet. I don't really know what it's gonna be for my party. Um, but what I will tell you is that I think I'm going to wear this at some point. When I tell you my ass looks so good in this dress, when I tell you my ass looks so fire in this dress, I cannot wait to show you all <sighs> pictures. So at least that's gonna be one of them. Everything else is a surprise, but <laughs> I'm also planning on vlogging a little bit and like showcasing my fits, whatever. Um, okay, I think we're probably gonna start looking at videos in a minute or two, which means the tiara's gotta go, actually. Um, oh yeah, no, eight, like eight. I literally, it's crazy because I bought so many clothes. Like you probably can tell in the background of this, like there's just clothing absolutely everywhere. I was like ripping things off. You can see my lamp in the background here too. That was my lamp. Now it's gone, <laughs> it's shattered. Um, 
but I was like throwing on things like over and over and I was just like not loving anything. Like I liked a lot of my outfits and I, I really like my like my slutty outfit, my dirty 30 fit that I will like keep on and stuff. And it's, but it's it's real, it's a lot. It's a lot and I know I'm not gonna be wanna be in it all night. So um, I have that and then I have that dress. And then I, I don't know, I've been thinking about bringing one comfy outfit like still slay, like still like something like really slay, but so that I can, I don't know, just like be comfy, be cute. So there's going to be five outfits today, minimum. Minimum, the tiara stays, I know. That's how I feel too. I just can't fit my freaking, maybe I could? Oh, I could! Uh, I had it further back before I started the stream and I didn't think I could like fit both, but I can. That's so cute. Ah, that's so cute. Wow, this music is bumping. Oh my god, wait, it looks so cute with the cat ears. Stop, why did, oh my god, you guys. So I bought like, I bought like props and stuff and like for my birthday, I wanted people to be able to like take a bunch of pictures, whatever, so I have like, I basically got everything I need, like lights, like all of this stuff so people can take like hella pics tonight. And I got, I got like pink cowboy hats. I got pink cat ears. I got pink devil horns. We got pink tiaras. We got like, I, I got like somebody at the party will have to wear a full cat girl set. So I got the pink tail. I got pink Amanda. Okay. Last one for today. Thank God. <laughs> Amanda, thank you. Last one for today, but happy birthday. Happy birthday. The outfits and the crown slay. Amanda, you're insane. You're crazy. I have to show you guys the um the Polly Pocket, the Phantom of the Opera Polly Pocket that I made the mod send to Amanda earlier. Um Oh wait, I follow it on my alt. Yo, having a private Instagram was the best thing I ever did for myself. Um like so seriously, the best thing I've ever done for myself. Let me see. Oh, wait, no, this is a Spirited Away one. Wait, where's the Phantom one? It's so cute. I'm putting Amanda back in there, so I really want you guys to be able to see it. Oh, here it is. I don't want that. <laughs> I want to get copyrighted, but look at that! Isn't that cool? It's so pretty, but Amanda's back in there. Love you so much, but you're back in jail. <laughs> Thank you, Amanda. I love you very, very much. Thank you so much. Oh, Captain Zombie Pants. Your name is Kat. I'm just weird. Love you. <laughs> Excited. I love you so much. Kenny, thank you so much for your super chat. Happy, happy birthday. I've been here for seven years and I love you so much. You deserve the world. You deserve financial compensation. <laughs> you deserve like a nap. Honey Bear Forever, thanks for joining the channel memberships. And then Katie, thanks for joining the channel memberships. I wasn't sure if I'd said thank you to Katie Rose. Um, and then Alma School Buddies 101 said, uh, thank you for your super chat. How did I become a member? Um, sorry, you had to send in a super chat to learn this and I appreciate it so much. Um, so it should be a join button. And the thing is that if you're on mobile, sometimes like for some people, like, their phones are outdated or for whatever reason, the app just won't, like you won't see the join button, but it should be like where you press subscribe, it should be right next to that. And if you can't see it on there, you might have to go to your desktop. But we have members only videos. I'm gonna be vlogging a little bit for my birthday. Like we have so much fun over there. I constantly give people like updates. Um, I write diary entries. I've written a lot of diary entries about turning 30 and it's like a cool place to share my writing. So if you guys do want to join, join the channel memberships, I like it a lot better than like just subscribing on Twitch because I feel like you get something out of it. It's not just like an extra sub, you know, but yeah, yeah. Jade, thanks for joining. Thank you for joining. Happy to have you here. After the stream, um, you guys can go and watch all of my members only videos. No, Caitlin, you're right on time. I've just been chit-chatting for my birthday. Chit-chatting. I saw the funniest... Wait, I wonder if I liked this TikTok. I saw the funniest TikTok of this guy last night who was like, Emma, thanks for your super chat. I appreciate you so much. And thanks, it's your first one. I appreciate you. 
Um, I, oh, Toaster, happy V-Day. You've been woke fame sending love. Thank you so much for that. I love you so much. Um, what was I about to say? What was I about to say? No, Cody isn't coming. Cody, Cody will not, Cody's in jail. Cody's in jail. Actually, I have no idea if Cody's coming, but. <laughs> yeah, I know, the crown's cute with the ears. What was I just telling you guys? Oh my God, this TikTok. Stop, this TikTok is so freaking funny and I wanted to show it so bad. I'm thinking about waiting till my next like um, scary side of TikTok video, but like like my proper like sit down one. <laughs> but it's like, this guy comes into the kitchen and he's off. So it's like a ring camera, like a, like a webcam kind of camera, whatever, like set up in this couple's kitchen. And the girl is, the girl in the relationship is the one who uploaded it and she said something like, Oh, Alma, I'm glad that you figured out how to join. Welcome to the channel memberships. Um, she said something about like when your boyfriend doesn't know that you can talk through the camera, whatever. And so he comes to the kitchen, he's off camera, but you can just hear this man like ripping the fattest hit off a bong. Like you can just hear like bubbles and him breathing in. And then she, I guess like, I don't know if she was in another room. I don't know if she was out of town. She suddenly like starts growling like a demon and it's like, I see you. Like something like that. And he just stops, like mid bomb rip, just stops. And then she says, you better run. And you watch this poor grown man bolt. I mean, just bolt from the kitchen to the bedroom because he thought he didn't know it was coming from the camera. It was the funniest freaking video I've ever seen in my life. I think I'm going to put it in the next scary side of TikTok. It cracked me up because he screamed. He like screamed when he's running back. He's sitting there like, you can literally just hear him taking the fattest rip off this bong. You can hear him never let it go either. He just bolts it and then runs, like bolts. It's so funny. It's, it, no, Pluto, the way he runs is so funny. I wish I could show it right now. I have no idea where to find it, but, cause I didn't like it. Um, <laughs> anyways, <laughs> Death Fashion, thanks for joining the channel memberships. Amanda! You said last one, you lied, but you may tag me in a tweet. Of course you can, always baby. Always, always, always. Happy birthday, Loie, I've been watching since 2015 and I'm now in my third year of college. You never fa failed to make me laugh and smile. You're such an amazing and beautiful intro. I individual intro, what? Thank you very much. Thanks for being here. I love you so much. Okay, okay, okay. So then Michaela Brown, thanks for joining the channel memberships. And then Cameron, happy birthday, Louie. My best friend introduced you, me to you. Love you, love your bestie. And she does have good taste. This is your first time catching a stream and you're so excited. I'm so happy you're here. It's a good one to be here for. Good one to be here for. So for our scary videos today, I need to swap my screens. Um, for our scary videos today, we're gonna watch a single bizarre bub comp. Um, usually I like to do like, two of them you know like one or two or something and this one's a little bit shorter but again just because I can't stay live too long anyway I don't want us to get in the middle of a fun like video and then like me actually have to leave to go make a dinner um so I guess we'll turn off the music Thank you guys so much also. Thank you for all the love. Thank you so much that you are so freaking sweet to me. So unbelievably generous. And I am so thankful for every single one of you. Um, I just appreciate you so much. And uh, I, can you tag me in it? Of course you can, Amanda. You can tag me in your tweet. Oh, you said I can tag you in it. There might be somebody delivering something. I have no idea. We'll see. Hold on before we get started. Oh, should I answer the door in my tiara if it is somebody who needs me? You look very sleepy, Hades. Okay. Well, was that all? And he just like growled to it. <laughs> Ow. <laughs> Ow. <laughs> <laughs> that was so funny. Um, Annie just let out a little growly growl. I don't know what's up. Um, I 
I'm, I'm about to rewatch myself whacking myself in the face with my um, headphones in like the replay. Hold on, I'm about to see it. Oh, God, that's funny. It's just as funny as I thought it would be. OK, so we are. Oh, I got a present. I got a present. Thank you. Thank you so much. That's a wonderful present. What a very large yawn for such a very big boy. You're a very good man. You're a very good man. I'm not going to play ball with you right now, but you're a very good man. Oh, is that right? Um. <laughs> okay. Okay, okay, okay. So let's drag this. Oh, no, I need this screen over here. And then um, the reason I called also... The reason I called this one a TikTok video, we are reacting to Bizarre Bub. And in the past, I have, um, I've, I've like called these YouTube videos because technically I think they're just submissions in to um, Bizarre Bub who films these. However, most of these are vertical and they seem like something from TikTok. Like they seem like things that were filmed like for TikTok, like for that kind of purpose, you know what I mean? And I'm pretty sure most of these people might have already posted these to TikTok. So again, that's why I called it TikTok because most of the videos are vertical as opposed to like horizontal. So it just sort of has that feeling, you know, <gasps> Pluto sent me the TikTok. Wait, oh my God, Pluto sent me the TikTok. Oh my God, oh my God, oh my God, oh my God. I'm so excited. Thank you so much for squeaking. Um, also, I will be like kind of out a lot of the day so my pups are gonna probably just be in the background um a little bit and if you hear him squeaking I just like I feel bad because I'm I I'm gonna be out so much of tonight I don't feel like putting them in their crates so that I can't spend like any time with them today so hopefully it's not too annoying but what are we growling at why are we growling there's nobody there there's nobody dear. Oh my God, I found the TikTok. Oh my God, I'm so excited. Hold on, I'm going to send this to myself. We can watch it before we get started. Oh my God, it has 7.7 .7 million likes. There's such a high likelihood some of you have seen this. Thank you, buddy. That was a very sweet ball. I loved it. Um, I haven't watched the FNAF trailer yet. Oh my god, should I do that on stream? I haven't watched it yet. Um Oh, did Dory leave? Bye, Dory. Um Rin, thank you so much. Happy birth. Bites you, bites you, bites you, bites you, bites you. I'm biting you back. I love you so much. Um, thank you for joining the channel memberships, Brooke, as well as Avery Rain Nell. And then uh, Anna Ray, thanks for six months. I love you so much. Okay. Okay, okay, okay. We have this damn TikTok. I literally could not be more excited to share this with you. It's absolutely bananas, actually. Okay. We can get rid of that. We have this up. And then we're good. Okay, we're good, we're good, we're good. Ba -doop -boop. Alrighty. Sorry, I'm making sure my screen is ready to share with you. This is the, f when I tell you this is the funniest video I've ever seen in my life, it is the funniest TikTok I've ever seen in my life. Editor, please include this in the compilation because Jesus Christ, it's hilarious. Um. Okay. Okay, so this is the TikTok that I'm talking about, by the way. Like, I saw this TikTok last night, and I laughed until, like, my sides hurt. I was in so much pain. This is the funniest TikTok, and if I was this man, I would have been freaking terrified. I understand his reaction, but his reaction is what makes it. him rip the bong <laughs> but it just stops you better run and then the way he runs back to the room <laughs> that is so funny that is so funny oh my 
my god. <laughs> you better run. When she says, you better run. <laughs> like, Jesus Christ. <gasps> His little, like, ugh, noise too is so good. Oh my god, it's so good. It's so good. It's literally so good. Okay. Oh my god, it's so funny. You better run. <laughs> like, it was so good. All right, so what we'll do is I will um go ahead and start the um the compilation. I'll let it play for a minute. We'll chit chat about the volume levels and then we will We'll give it a little watch. We'll give it a little watch. JD Wavy. Hi, baby. Happy birthday, Loie. I have so much love and appreciation for you. Have the best day ever. Thank you so much, my sweet friend. I love you the most. Thank you. Um, baby M, thank you for your super chat. Happy birthday, baby. Six years in, and this is my first stream. Oh my god. Well, welcome, welcome. Hi, handsome Bo Bansom. Is the threat that was Oh, I thought that was Hades. It was Riley. You don't need to yell at your brother like that. No, it's really rude. It's really rude. Shh. You're good. Lay down. Um. So yeah, we'll we'll go ahead and play this, and then you guys just let me know how you're feeling about the audio, really. Um. So. Okay. This is the comp we're going to do. We're reacting to Scary Compilation 74. Like I said, a little bit shorter, but there's five videos in here that are really, really, really weird from what I was seeing before. Um, so do you want me to just throw it in the kitchen? I think he kind of likes it. Do you want me to just throw you the ball in the kitchen? Oh, I see. How wonderful. <laughs> Why are you barking? There's nothing going on. They're so barky today. Barky little barkers. Girl, nobody is there. Oh, just kidding. There was somebody there. They're gone now. Uh, They walked away. I, I don't know who it was, but they walked off. So I'm just going to go back to my stream and hope it was nothing important because I'm not going to go chase them down. <laughs> um oopsie daisy yeah random mannequin i don't know the answer but i just kind of like looked through um i just kind of like looked through and i was like mannequins like what okay <laughs> dean i love the uh i love you using the low emotes okay all right all right all right let's give it a watch a mother is alone Ooh, at home that is watching loud. TV when something pretty terrifying is caught on camera. The following video comes from Daniel Thompson, who lives happily with his mother in a three-story house that is filled with I lots of antiques and other priceless items. I think that audio is good for me, items like that, that are general. Fairly creepy oh boy, I have no idea what that is. I think that general audio level is good for me. What do you guys think about that? How do we feel? A mother is alone at home watching TV when something pretty terrifying is caught like, on camera. I think I can talk over the that, The following okay. video comes from Daniel Two. Thompson. I don't know. Yeah, let me know. Let me know. I'll go to uh, pause it and you guys let me know. Um, my scalp hurts. When I was, um, I was, when I was flat ironing in front of my hair, when I styled it earlier, I think I left the heat on it too long. Audio is good. Audio is good. Okay. Cool, cool, cool. A little loud. I adjusted it since then. I'm going to see if people still say it's. Little loud, little loud. Good, no headphones. I'll turn it down a tad bit more. Yeah, maybe just a little bit more to make sure. Just a little bit. Okay. All right, let me know if, um, if you guys want me to um change the audio yes we just started also tomorrow will be my hangover stream i think we'll probably just like watch sit here and watch scary videos and i probably won't even wear makeup it'll literally be like the hangover day um so be sure to tune in tomorrow too for the usual sunday stream around seven ish okay 
A mother is alone at home watching TV okay. when something pretty terrifying is caught on camera. Okay. The following video comes from Daniel Thompson, who lives happily with his mother in a three-story house that is filled with lots of antiques and other priceless items that are fairly creepy to say the least. Priceless items like this creepy freaking ventriloquist doll? Like, what is that doing in here? Hello? What is that doing in here? Also, sorry, I just turned on um, captions. From expensive artifacts bought overseas to small collectibles that can't be found anywhere else, Daniel's mom has been collecting many antiquities ever since he was a child. However, out of all the items in this okay. house, two in particular scare him the most. A porcelain doll that is placed at the front entrance of the house. This doll Dare I say it? Do I say it? Do I just say what it is? Hold on. Uh, what am I looking up? What am I looking up? What am I looking up? Hold on. Hold on. I know exactly what she looks like. Okay, it's kind of uncanny, actually. Why is she giving Jasper from Twilight? <laughs> anyway, her eyes are creepy as heck, but apparently this is like a doll that's placed at the entrance of the house. So the guy probably sees it constantly when he comes and goes from their home. And a dollhouse that for some reason makes him feel excited. How do you serve but in a haunted way? This is how you serve in a haunted way. Like, how do you serve but, like, make it haunted? This is exactly how. Place at the front entrance of the house and a dollhouse that for some reason makes him feel extremely uneasy. The dollhouse, according to Daniel, does something very strange. No! Here's a video of him talking about it. I don't know how to explain it. Not a haunted dollhouse. Uh, the only thing... Oh, that's a I can nightmare. Say that has happened with it is sometimes when I walk by or like I'm, I go, the bathroom's back there. Uh -huh. And I walk through and I hear like tapping coming from this room. It's like, uh. uh <laughs> that's so that's gross. Like, that's um, so creepy. Yeah, it's like. There you go. Like the tapping kept happening and I came over and I was trying to figure out like where it was coming from, but it was coming from this dollhouse and I don't know where. Why do you, I guess it's just one of his mom's antiques? hasn't done it since. So it's a haunted Daniel dollhouse? Daniel tapping noises are coming from inside the dollhouse, oh, which that's... is in the room that his sister used to be in. Oh, that's so weird. Oh, that's so weird. Oh, that's so weird. The dollhouse is huge too. Like, I think that the idea of a haunted dollhouse is maybe scarier than anything else because like, Thinking about like little dolls and little things in there. Like, I don't know, just thinking about them moving or like doing things on their own is so scary. Um, wait, I don't know if I've said thank you to, I don't think I've said thank you in a while. So Haley, thank you so much for your super chat. I don't mind the doggos. I have mine next to me. Oh good, we have a doggo party. Club Moon, thank you. Happy birthday. You've helped me love myself. Thank you for everything you do for us. I hope your day is wonderful. I hope your day is wonderful and I appreciate you so much. Thanks for being here. And then Baby M said, happy birthday, baby. Six years and this is my first stream. I think I did say thank you. Okay, I wasn't sure if I had thanked everybody for these. Sorry, JD Wadey, thank you. Aggie the Adventurer, thanks for joining the channel memberships. Daniel, thanks for your super chat. Wishing you a wonderful birthday. First time I've caught a live. Welcome, welcome. And then Alyssa, thanks for joining the channel memberships. Anyway, haunted dolls. For this reason, he's been recording it ever since with a security camera to see if the knocking continues and to hopefully find the source. Oh, that's spooky. But then one day, while passing by the room, this happens. It's late at night when Daniel captures this. Okay. In the dark. Guys. Oh, that's the tapping? That's loud. That's Damn. really loud. Those are the tapping noises I was talking about. That bully sounds like somebody's in there. Like, in the room. Like, moving around. Okay. 
I'm going to get jump scared. I can feel it. I can just feel it in my bones. I don't know why I believe this. I think it's because the dollhouse is haunted. Like a light's going to turn on. I don't know. Something sinister. There's still just that tapping noise though. Like, is it slamming a little dollhouse table against the wall? Like what is going on? And then it just stops. No, it didn't stop. Where is it coming from? Literally, where is it? It is at, it's in the dollhouse. You heard how. Like, where is this coming from? I don't know. I have no idea, dude. None. I got nothing. Ew, there's going to be something creepy. There's going to be something creepy. I can feel it. Is something moving? He's going to open the door where somebody's knocking on the door in this dollhouse? I don't think so, bro. Like, what are you talking about? Kai, thanks for joining the channel memberships. Thank you so much, Julie. Happy birthday, bestie. Love you the most. Love you. Thanks for being here, honey. Like, if you look, also, I'm rewinding so you guys can take a look. When you see the bathroom, um, I'll, I'll actually show you. So, like, pay attention here at the bathroom door. It literally looks like somebody's, like, moving on the other side. Like, you can see, like, a shadow. And he's going to answer them knocking at the door. Hello? You're so stupid. You're so stupid. You're so dumb. I'm so sorry. I I feel so terrible for you, but why did you do that? Why did you do that? Mysteriously, the source of the tapping sounds can't why did be you found anywhere. Even the three knocks that were heard on the small door are a mystery. Like, Without like first you die in a horror movie. Why would you answer the knocking at the dollhouse door? Please, sir. Oh my God. And he's hot. He's hot. He should have hot person plot armor. Like the same way that Chris did. You guys remember that one um, react video where I saw Chris in one of these bizarre bub videos and I went absolutely feral. This man is fine as hell. Is Daniel's fine as hell. Like don't go answering dollhouse doors. It's just asking for trouble. Thank you, Hades. That's very nice. Mysteriously, the source of the tapping sounds can't be found anywhere. Even the three knocks that were heard on the small door are a mystery. Without a clue as to where they came from, Daniel continues to record the dollhouse. Yeah, you just let something but inside. But only a day later, something happens that chills Daniel to his core. Bro. Take a look. Stop. Stop. They're rearranging the furniture. You let them in and now they're going to trash your house, dude. No, that's so weird. It's like so many things keep moving, too. There were like three Somehow, separate the things. The miniature figurines move on their own as though someone or something was playing Ooh, with that's them. That's so spooky. As if the tapping noises weren't enough to spook Daniel, this happens. Understandably, he had no words when he saw this video. Yeah, what do you... He began to think that his mom may have brought either a cursed or haunted item into their house. Not it's sure what so to make of it. interesting because recently when I was on TikTok, I saw another story about people who like, they like got like a, they just got a dollhouse out of the, um, out of the garbage. It was like a garbage find that they refurbished. And they started having paranormal things to the point where they burned the dollhouse. So like, what is it with haunted dollhouses lately? Daniel doesn't mention nor post any more footage of the dollhouse. But then, two nights later, something happens that impels him to share the following footage. It's around 2.30 in the morning when this is captured. And this is not the dollhouse, this is just the house house. I have full but No! Don't answer the door. Don't answer. 
answer the door. Don't answer the door. Please do not. Do not. Do not. Do not. Open that door. Do not. Do not let it in. It is knocking. No! Crap. And now he's screwed. The worst. So now... He swore he saw the doll blinking and had to take a closer look. I'm covered in chills. Oh my god. The knocking is literally louder than it was. It's literally louder than it was before. But oh my god, I forgot about the freaking doll because I think the lights were off when he came in the room. I didn't really notice it. I was just like... The sound of knocking can like, be heard oh, at the door. Oh, her silhouette? But strangely. The doll's silhouette in the dark. I forgot that the doll was a creepy component of this video because I was so hyper-focused on the dollhouse. But like, oh my god. No, Aggie the Adventure, thank you for your super chat. Classic burn everything and move situation. Exactly. Get rid of it all. Get rid of it all. Throw the doll away. Throw the damn dollhouse away. Throw the whole house away, actually. The sound of knocking can be heard at the door, but strangely, the footage from outside shows no one at the entrance. Who, or even what, had been knocking at the door. What did you let into your now, house? Now, what's even more strange about this is that the same number of knocks were made earlier in the dollhouse video. Fearing that the dollhouse might have something to do with this, Daniel places the miniature set inside his garage. He continues to record it, just with in case the knocking dolls? continues. That's a good idea. If it does, then he'll know for sure the knocking came from the set itself, and not from the room it was in. Fast forward to a day later, and nothing happens. Okay. The next video Daniel uploads has nothing to do with the strange activity in his house. Instead, it's a video of him recording his workplace. Nothing is mentioned about the previous incidents or any new activity that's been captured. It seems that whatever had been happening in his house has stopped. But then, out of nowhere, within a couple hours of posting this video, Daniel receives a message from his mom. It's a video of security footage taken from inside no. the living room. We can see Daniel's mom watching TV when suddenly this happens. Please tell me it's not gonna happen with the mannequins, because if a mannequin like moves, if a mannequin moves, I'm gonna I'm gonna piss my pants. <laughs> No. No, right? Did his workplace not look like he was literally in FNAF security breach? Like I was looking at it and I was like, where does this man work? Like, where is he working? I was like, is this Build-A-Bear workshop? Like, why is he in Five Nights at Freddy's? Is that the origin of every single paranormal thing that's happened? Or anyways, I want to watch this again because it, to me, in this video, sounds like Daniel um, receives a message from his mom. To me, it it's sounds like the footsteps are kind of over here. It sounds to me like the footsteps kind of come over from the mannequin. Please stop biting my hand. Like, he's just sitting there gumming on my hand. Um, I want to hear the footsteps again. Security footage taken from inside their living room. Lay down, buddy. We can see Daniel's oh, mom nice. watching TV when suddenly this happens. It literally sounds like someone's like running through the house. Like his mom gets so freaked out. I don't think anything touched her. I think she literally just heard what sounded like footsteps like running up on her and she got freaked out. And at this point, I think that's confirmation that whatever it was that was like knocking at the dollhouse and then knocking at the front door, when that guy opened the door, it like let them in. It literally let them in. I think that's why something's running around in the house. The sound of bare feet running towards Daniel's mom can be heard on camera. Feeling very spooked, she looks around but can't so find anything creepy. that could explain the running footsteps. It was at this point that both Daniel and his mom were convinced that something is haunting them. Although already convinced, it seems that it didn't stop the strange activity from continuing. Only a day later, Daniel looks over at the footage caught inside the garage 
and sees this. I completely forgot around the same time the that the dollhouse has camera, been banished. This happened. Oh, so this is around this. No, 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 no. Are you okay, Ian? Wait, sorry, I will rewind this. Are you okay, baby? What was that sound? Was it the water? Does the fountain need to be turned off? I might need to go turn off their water fountain really fast. Hold on, guys, sorry. I will literally be right back. I just need to. Hi, sweet girl. Are you good? I really didn't even need to do a BRB. You guys could have just watched me do it, but I'm always so scared my entire ass is going to pop out and then I'm going to... What can I do then? You know what I mean? I'm I'm always wearing like tiny little tiny little shorts. Anyways, I'm going to go ahead and rewind this because I was absolutely not paying like a lick of attention because I heard a weird noise and I thought it was Annie like throwing up. But those of you who are here all the time know that... Um, my dogs have a refillable water fountain and I have nine pets. So my dogs and my cats drink out of it. So I have to refill it like four times a day. Just it, it's like two liters of water <laughs> at any given point in time. Um, but then when it starts to get low, it'll make these weird like burping noises. So when like the um, the pump will turn off. Uh, Kadab Aspenwall, <laughs> thank you for your super chat. Autumn, thank you for your super chat. You are the, the vibe. You are the vibe. Thank you. I love you so much, Loey. Keep being you. I'll try my best. Thank you very much for being here. I appreciate you so much. So, okay. Although already convinced, it seems that it didn't stop well, the strange activity from continuing. I will, continuing. I'll pay attention now. I promise. Only a day later, Daniel looks over at the footage caught inside the garage I and just, sees like, this. Around the same time the footsteps were caught on camera, yeah. This happened. This is so weird. So you can hear another big knock inside the dollhouse. And then the doll's eyes start moving. No, 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 no. It's not a... No! Oh my... God. Oh my God. Throw the entire house away. Like, I don't know what to tell you to get away from this. Like, is changing your country of origin too extreme? Is completely starting over too extreme? Like, I don't know what to tell you if you have this insane of a haunting. I really have no idea. It's weird to me also that there are, again, those like knocking, like big sounds coming from the house around the same time that his mom heard footsteps in like the actual house, not the dollhouse, right? I just like, I don't know. I don't know. Somebody in chat just said that this head is foul. I completely agree. I completely agree. That head is nuts. This doll is freaking me out. Its eyes are like, it's it's literally like, oh, that's so weird. I was going to say it's doing them like one at a time, whatever. That time it was both at the same time. Oh, are they closed still actually? Did they not open? I can't tell if they're opened or closed right now. I cannot tell where they're at. I think they're open. I don't know. Both the tapping sounds and the doll's eyes are no doubt creepy. Yet some viewers believe that the doll is actually mechanical and was either malfunctioning or glitching during this time. This notion, however, is put to yeah. rest as a video from Daniel shows yep. that the doll is entirely hollow from inside. It's like an old composite Given doll. Given this proof, yeah. viewers believe that something is haunting both Daniel I have one and of his those. mom. Ah! Whether or not that's so, I'll let you come <laughs> that's up with your so own creepy. conclusion. <laughs> that's is something so haunting creepy. this house? Or is something else happening Dude, here? Dude, I think I want to like... Feel free to let me know what you think. I think I want to look into this entire situation to make a full video about it because what the actual heck is that? What the Shy! Hi, Shy! Shy, you're here. It's my birthday. Shy, you're here. It's my birthday. It's my birthday. It's my birthday. Hi, Shy. It's my birthday. Um. Okay. Sorry. Uh, Asbury Twizzler, thanks for your super chat. I appreciate you so much. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Right. Like, 
Oh, sorry, you guys. My, uh, I'm gonna maybe do some stuff with Streamlabs. It's like glitching so bad out of nowhere. Streamlabs just started being so weird. That is so weird. Like my, my, um, chat just started like scrolling through itself. That was such weird timing as we're talking about this insanely haunted house. Like no freaking thank you. Random. Okay. Anyways, I think I want to do like an entire video on this situation because like while I think that the dollhouse certainly has to have something going on, like he kept hearing those like knocking sounds, whatever. And then it, the way that it perfectly mirrors like what's happening in the actual house too just feels too purposeful. Like I think it all does tie back to the dollhouse. But I also think like, you know, his mom just has a bunch of antiques. And ultimately, like sometimes items can hold like old energies or people can hold on to them. And, you know, haunted dolls are kind of like a big thing like people truly think that like souls can attach themselves to physical objects and I do too personally so I think it's really interesting and at first I thought like this has just got to be like a kid spirit right like if if there's somebody moving things around knocking at doors in the dollhouse that's got to be a little kid that's got to be like a little kid like just playing with this dollhouse and playing with dolls and that makes so much sense in the context of what we're seeing but there's something like even the footsteps, even the footsteps running up behind the mom kind of sounded like a little kid, like scattering through the house. Right. I still just feel like the knocks are huge and kind of like intense, kind of not like fun little kid, like joking around like these scares are really big scares. I don't know. I don't know, but I cannot wait to like look into this situation more. I have no idea where these videos are being posted, but I cannot wait to look into it more. Oh, my God. I'm so excited. Um, Lilac Skies, thank you for your super chat. These are giving me chills. Happy birthday, Loewe. Best wishes. Love you. Thank you so much. And then Emma Kate, thank you so much for your super chat as well. Grace and I have been having a good day. Thank you very much. Okay. Okay. So I think this is absolutely paranormal, personally. Personally, I have a, am of the mind that I think this is completely and totally paranormal. I don't think this is just like a bunch of stuff in his house kind of like glitching for no reason. Like, it's all older stuff. It's all antiques. It's all stuff that's like not really up to date technology wise. I just think it's completely a ghost. Yeah, and Odyssey 8 just said, I feel like that's too much to be just a little kid ghost. You know, that's exactly how I feel. At first, I thought, like, that's got to be all it is. It's, like, attached to toys, like, whatever. I completely think. I don't know. I think it's, like, something, like, screwing with them. It's probably multiple things also. Um, Aggie, thank you so much for your super chat. Personally, I'm punching that doll in the face. I really like the way that you think. I really like the way you think. And then Rue Brown, thank you so much for joining the channel memberships. Welcome, welcome. Okay. On to the next one, I guess. Next video. I a woman is woken up late at night that. by her dog, who is barking nonstop at something outside her house. It's so dark. I can't like, Feeling see very unsettled by her dog's behavior, she takes out her phone and records the following video. What she sees leaves her in total shock. Riley, um, when he wants to take a nap, he's always been one of those dogs who has to like adjust his bed. He has a bed right next to where I stream because he likes to hang out with me. But Hades likes to lay underneath basically my desk. He likes to be like right here or like right behind me or next to me or something. Annie's always right next to me. Riley likes to be with me too, but he likes a little bit of space. You know, he's an older man and he's currently just, he's just fluffing up his bed right now. He's just, you are just Fluff in that bed, sir. You make it your boss. You are the boss of that bed. You are the boss of that bed, sir. He has been fluffing. Oh, what a good boy, Riley. You're such a good man. Are you comfy? He looks so restless. I don't know why. Um, as for you, Twizzler, uh, you said happy birthday. My niece asked to watch your video. Oh my goodness. Well, hello to you. Hello to your niece. Thank you so, so much. I think that you're, um, oh no, you, okay, so you had super chatted previously. I was going to say, I think your message just came through because I saw you earlier. And then Rue, again, thanks for joining. Um, not everything is coming up for some reason in my little, um, freaking, uh, 
Streamlabs has been kind of weird. Austin, thank you so much. Happy birthday, Queen Loey. I love you, Austin. Thank you. Oh, I'm sorry, sweet boy. All right, ready? One, two, woo! You wanna come watch some scary videos? Do you want to watch a scary video? With your mom? With your mom? Look, she's so scared. She's like, I don't wanna watch no scary videos. I don't wanna watch no scary videos. I'm scared. I'm a scared little dog. Guys, this is my dog, Annie. She's great. She's like a puppy. She's literally just like a puppy forever. Like if you want to have a puppy, uh, and I don't recommend getting a schnauzer. They're the most insane. Like she is the craziest dog I've ever had in my life. She is so nuts. I have never spent more money on an animal, like for health reasons. I have never like, and Annie was also a Craigslist purchase. Like I found this dog on Craigslist. And then the girl who had her was my fan. It was so sweet. She bought her from a breeder and then realized she could not handle um, a puppy. And that, that's when I got you. And your mom was so nice to me. She was so nice. She was so nice to you. She was a good mom. She was a good mom and then she let me have you. That was a good mom. Yeah, look at you. Look how cute you are. But she's like, Annie is, um, how old are you, baby? Are you seven this year? <gasps> are you seven years old? That's crazy. Seven years old. Seven years old. My girl, she is still like a little tiny baby puppy. She's so playful. She loves to cuddle. She has so much energy. Like she is still just a puppy more than any of my other dogs. And I know she's like a small dog, so they don't grow up as fast. Like they'll stay puppies for longer, but she's seven. You're an old baby. Yeah, you gotta stop licking your paws though. Let's stop. She needs her allergy shots. They've been really bad. Yeah, I feel really bad. Shani, thank you so much for your super chat. Thank you guys for letting me just hang out with my dogs too because I, uh, again, I'm going to miss them a lot tonight. So it's nice to have some time to hang out with them. Okay, so we're going to start this if you're on stop. A woman is woken up late at night by her dog who is barking nonstop dog. at something outside her house. That's you. Feeling very unsettled by her dog's behavior, she takes out her phone and records the following video. What she sees leaves her in total shock. It was four in the morning and my dog wouldn't, my dog wouldn't stop barking. When I came out, I caught this. I don't know what it is. I see something move. Oh, oh, was it her dog? I don't see anything. Oh. Although it's hard to see at first, yeah. there seems to be a shadow-like figure standing completely still while seemingly observing the woman who shakes in fear at the sight of this mysterious being. Immensely terrified, the woman backs away slowly, hoping oh, the shadowy figure doesn't move any closer to the my property. God. It's safe to say that the strange presence has placed both her and her dog on high alert. Oh, that's weird. But it would be the following night that places them in a state of complete terror. What happens next is beyond strange. Her dog's so cute. Hola, gente. She says, hello everyone, again, I'm hearing noises. I'm all alone by myself. I'm hearing noises coming from downstairs. And honestly, I don't know. Oh God, something's there? Where? Sora, subi. Nera, are you seeing this shit? <sighs> Horrified beyond belief, a pair of long, skinny fingers emerge from underneath the staircase. But creepiest of all is the complexion of this mysterious being. Its pale skin tone is similar to that of a corpse that was freshly buried. That's Without delay, the woman runs so down the staircase scary. at full speed, hoping to capture whatever this was. But upon arriving down, oh, nothing is seen below the stairs. My God, not the hands out of the darkness. The hands? 
What are you talking about? And why did they disappear? What are you talking about? And why did they disappear? Oh, you're okay. You're okay. Please remember that you are a lot bigger than your sister. Thank you so much. You were very disrespectful when you tried to trample her. <laughs> Honey, you weren't sitting still. You can't come back up. Like, if we really watch that clip again. <laughs> like. Oh, God, there's something there. And it's weird because it's like. You can see that it like starts Sarah. to zoom in, and I thought there was a shadow or something. Oh my god! What is, what is that see. coming from? Where are those hands coming from? And then they just disappear suddenly. <laughs> no, that has to be edited. That has to be edited. I, I cannot believe that that's real for my own sanity. That has to be edited. Horrified beyond belief, a pair of long what? skinny fingers emerge from underneath the staircase. But creepiest of all is the complexion of this mysterious being. Its pale skin tone is similar to that of a corpse that was freshly buried. Without delay, the woman runs down the staircase at full speed, hoping Bro. to capture whatever this was. But upon arriving down, nothing is seen below the stairs. Whatever had been there had seemingly disappeared. Yeah, I, I could, ghost. if it was really somebody, it could have been someone hiding under her stairs, like doing that, right? Because she has room, but there's nobody under or there. Or some paranormal when she entity checks. had been caught on camera, remained shrouded in mystery. Weird. That one was weird. Now the weird. exact source of this next clip Sorry. is. Now the exact source of this oh, next puppy. clip is unknown. So very little context is given, but it doesn't take much to figure out what's going on in the video. Something very strange is caught on camera. The clip itself shows footage of a dog's cage. It's assumed the owner had bought the camera to watch their dog Bless whenever you, they're baby. away from home. On one occasion, the owner was looking over at the security camera to see what their dog was up to. But to their shock, they saw what may just be a reason for why they should be concerned for the safety of their dog. This is what they saw. If you bought a camera like this, and I know that so many of these like videos are from people who set up security cameras for reasons like this, to watch their dogs, to be able to keep an eye on their kids, to be able to keep an eye on the front door. Like I'm sure that in that first video that we watched with the dollhouse, all of those cameras were probably set up for like security purposes. And then they're catching all this crazy paranormal stuff going on. Um, but I'm so, I don't, I don't like it when dogs get freaked out. So, oh, Chai Mama, welcome, welcome. Thank you for your super chat. Happy B-Day. Sorry I'm late. I was performing earlier. That's A-OK. -okay, and I hope your performance went so well. You're here now. Thanks for being here. Oh, oh sorry. They saw what may just be a reason okay, okay, for okay, why okay. they should okay. be concerned for the safety of their dog. Why? This sweet. is what they saw. Okay, so the dog's like near the crate. He's also so stinking cute. Speaking of dogs, please. Whoa, what was that? Hold on, I'm taking Hades' toy away while we listen to this because I feel like this, it, with, with a dog video especially, I feel like, you know, if you hear like a squeaking toy, it could really confuse people too whenever they watch this back. Um. So, just for now, just for now, for you'll get back the safety of their dog, this is what they saw. So the dog is just like near the crate, sniffing around, just looking at something. He's wagging his tail. And then something completely freaks him out, but his tail doesn't stop wagging. And then that door opens on its own. Right from the start. We can see the dog That's looking at something really that can't weird. be seen on camera. Then strangely, without a moment's notice, the dog is seemingly thrown back as though something had struck like, them. I don't think thrown back. I think that is he is the door opening jumped, on its own I mean, immediately afterward did. as though someone weird. or something had went inside. But what's weird about it is like if you look at this dog's like body language and I, notice how I never talk about people's body language, by the way, because I don't know people as well as I know dogs. Come. I don't know people as well as I know this mutt, 
So the way that the dog at the beginning of this clip, I think they're about to show like it. Like always, like, what do you think? Look at how this he's wagging his tail. And then ghost. look at how it almost seems like he's like sniffing someone's feet. Like this is how my dogs greet people. They also bark and stuff. But like when people walk in the door, they're sniffing their feet. They're wagging their tail, whatever. And it's Onto weird. The or how the dog like jumps back this way and then the door opens. Let me know your thoughts on this one. I don't know. If you I don't know creep what my thoughts are on that one. Like this is what they saw. I just like this really seems like this dog sees somebody. Fully sees somebody is sniffing their feet, saying hello, and then it seems like somebody like walks over here and then opens that door as though they're gonna step inside. It's almost like a okay, babe, like let me, you know, let me let me go by, like right whatever. So maybe the dog was actually afraid of this person, and the tail wag was like anxiety and you know whatnot. And the way he jumped back was a little a little spooky. But I've also seen my dogs do that out of excitement. He's not cowering. He's not shaking. Like, it could be anxious, but I think he's just reacting to this like it's a person. I don't know. It's really freaking weird. You know what's even weirder is how much this dog could do this all day. Oh, sorry. I didn't mean to. I threw it in this water bowl. I didn't mean to. Give me the ball. Ah, it's so wet. I'm sorry. I didn't mean to get it wet. Look at this fluffy tail. You got fluffy tail. You got fluffy tail. I don't know. I would say, like, someone in chat just said, like, is it a bug? Is it something else? No, because he jumps back and then that door opens on its own. Like, it's clearly something. Dark. We can I don't see know. the dog looking at the dog is seemingly thrown back as though something had struck them. I don't think anything struck the dog. I don't think the dog was like jumping back because something threw it. I think it was just like jumping, like freaked out. JD, thank you so much for being here. Well, you could be. I appreciate it so much. I know you have to go. I love you too. And thanks for saying happy birthday and thank you for your love and support. I appreciate you very, very much. Calm. That being said, let's get back to the video. Okay. Number two. This next video comes from a bus driver in Singapore who had no okay. idea that his day would start off with a very spooky encounter. It's 7 in the morning somewhere in Singapore when the driver of a large double-decker bus checks the security cameras of both decks inside the vehicle. On his dashboard, we can see live footage of what looks to be an empty bus, but upon looking okay. closely, something pretty unnerving is seen on camera. Take a look. What? He says, dang, it's so spooky in the morning. Have a look at this. And then he just shows, I think, the security cameras and stuff, obviously. Probably not expecting to see anything. <gasps> oh, there's someone sitting there. On the upper deck, do you see someone? Yeah, I sure do, bestie. Sure do see someone. It's too early to be this spooky. He says, is there really someone up there? I think he's gonna go check. Bro, it's gonna be so scary. There's not gonna be anyone there though. I know there's not gonna be anyone there. No, of course not. There's really nobody up here. But you could literally... Oh, wait, this is crazy. This is crazy. Damn, there's no one really up here. He says, I'm gonna, I'm gonna mute it so that I can read the captions a little bit more easily, or at least turn it down some. Damn, there's really nobody up here. My heart is beating so fast. I remember yelling really loud, telling anyone on the upper deck to come down at the bus stop. I thought there was no one left at the last station. And then he just sees somebody. Then he just sees somebody, like creepy um oh i completely missed that i love to rar 15 thank you so much for five gifted that's so generous of you thank you so so much and then thank you very much for your super chat happy birthday beautiful i hope you have an amazing day you deserve all the good vibes well thank you so much i love you very much and i appreciate you immensely i appreciate you being here thank you very much that's very generous athena fellow taurus happy birthday happy birthday baby your birthday was on the 18th listen i love us in the final days of taurus we're fun 
Um, Iris, thank you so much for your super chat as well. I really hope I'm not missing anyone, you guys. I sometimes these are not coming up in my um like dashboard. And I can't keep up with them through the chat. So I'm I'm really hopeful I'm not missing anybody. But if I do, please call my ass out. Because <laughs> I don't want to. Okay. So it seems this whole thing is really weird. Someone. As if seeing someone in what is supposed to be an empty bus wasn't creepy enough, the bus driver checks around and finds no one in sight. It appears like, that literally whoever, no one. or whatever was seen on camera, had simply vanished. It was also like a solid, like, dark figure. Like, it fully looked like a shadowy figure. You know what I mean? If no one had been inside the bus, then who or what was this? I don't know. I mean, I, I think that the answer is someone who uh, is on the bus, maybe for confusing reasons. I don't know. Like... I heard a noise, sorry. Um, it's literally broad daylight out. And I'm genuinely getting terrified. <laughs> Nicole, thank you so much for uh, being here. Nicole Basmoth, I'm so happy I made it to a stream. Happy birthday. I look forward to every video. Love from Canada. Thank you very much. And thank you for your super chat. I appreciate you. Um, yeah. Christina, happy birthday, Louis. Thank you so much. Oh, you guys never worry about getting a channel membership. I do. I do read chat all the time. It's just that like usually I obviously always give priority for um, people who are sending in like super chats and um, subscriptions and stuff. But I promise I read your messages as well. Sometimes I'm a little bit behind and it moves kind of fast, but never, ever, ever feel like you have to or or that like I won't talk to you if you don't like, you know um join but Evel Evelyn I hope that's how you say your name uh it's not coming up for me it's just coming up as oh it is Evelyn Evelyn Arzavala that's a really pretty name by the way um thank you so much for your super chat you are amazing I love you very 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 much all right let's catch this last one okay let's catch this last vid on March 6th of 2023 a reddit user had taken a photo of his kitchen late at night the Reddit user claims that over the last couple of years... Stop. We talked about this in my last, like, scary side of TikTok video. We talked about this in my last scary side of TikTok video, but we watched somebody talk a little bit about it, so I don't know that I know the whole story. I'm just going to let this play out, but, like... He's been hearing mysterious noises coming from his apartment. User claims that over the... A Reddit user had taken a photo of his kitchen late at night. The Reddit user claims that over the last couple of years, he's been hearing mysterious noises coming from his apartment. For the longest time, he's been trying to figure out the source of these noises. But then one night, while being in his living room, he takes a photo of his kitchen and captures this. And it just looks like a dark kitchen. But you can see that shadowy figure in the back. And then when you brighten it, it's this guy. It was only after enhancing the photo that he was able to see what looks to be a tall figure standing in his kitchen. He believes That's that whoever this is terrifying. is the person responsible for the strange noises he would hear at night. I have so many chills seeing this image. I have so many chills seeing this image. Why is there an entire... Can I please have your toy? I'm sorry. Oh, you okay? Can I have your toy? Can I have your toy? Can I throw it for you? Be very mindful of your sister, please. Yeah, that's a great toy to chase. What if we just throw it a few times? Will you get really bored and stop squeaking? Will you? Could you get so bored you could stop squeaking? Anyways, you see your ear again. Sorry, guys, one sec. I need to clean out Anne's ear again today. Well, it's not as bad as it has been. Her little floppy ear, the ear that was injured and now doesn't stand up straight, gets really dirty, like really easily. And so I try to clean it a few times a week um, just to make sure it doesn't get infected again because you've got chronic ear infections. You've got chronic ear infections. You are like a large baby. You are a very large baby. Mm -hmm. You're a very large baby. Where's your toy? All right. Anyways. You are baby, you are baby, you are baby. <gasps> Hades. 
Wait, sorry guys. I'm gonna throw this one more time, put her down, and then we'll we'll finish up this last bit. I just like Okay, it's okay, it's okay, it's okay. Yeah, we're really rambunctious, but we gotta chill. We gotta chill, guys. So everybody thinks this as well. Everybody has been thinking that this guy, when this image is brightened, like all of the people on Reddit were saying, like <laughs> Um, <laughs> I'm not haunted by moist critical. You are so wrong for that. Cruz and, 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 and Gulo, you are so freaking funny. Literally haunted by Charles White. Like, not Charles White in your kitchen. Oh my god. Um, also, I want to say a really big thank you to a couple of people. Sorry. Christina, thank you for another super chat. This is your first live I've ever caught. Well, this is a fun one because it's my birthday. You see my crown? See my crown? It's my birthday. Um, you could have it back when we finish this video. And then Savannah, thank you for your super chat. Taurus gang, rise up. Happy birthday, Loey. It's my first time catching you live, and I'm so excited. Oh, my God, a lot of people's first lives. Thank you for being here on my birthday. We'll be live again tomorrow, but I probably will not be this animated. I'm going to be really hungover. <laughs> Tomorrow's my hangover stream. So I'm showing up like no, no, uh, <laughs> no makeup. You guys saying voice critical in the chat is sending me into orbit. Like this is literally like, I've surely read this creepypasta before. You look in the mirror and you say Charles White over and over and over again. And then somebody shows up and starts talking about a 30-year-old video game that they just found a weird ARG subreddit on. <laughs> but again, people think it looks like like Keanu Reeves mostly when it's brightened up. The figure itself is pretty cool. Is the person responsible for the strange noises he would hear at night? While the figure itself is pretty creepy, viewers believe that the Reddit user had actually caught something paranormal. Whatever this is, appears to have no eyes and seems to be oh. very tall when comparing it to the fridge on the side. You know what? I've never seen this clear of an image, but they're right. Like, it really, like, looks quite hollow. Like, there's no eyes, like, you know, shining back or anything like that, which is kind of weird. But it only gets creepier because only a few days later, the Reddit user had posted a video of another strange occurrence. He yeah. left his camera recording overnight where the figure was spotted and captured and this. I can't like see anything when it's this dark. Oh, no, you can. <gasps> you can literally see somebody walking around in there. Stop. It kind of looks like the same guy, too. A little bit. A little bit. You can't see nearly as many facial details. If you though. look closely, you can see what looks to be a figure moving in the dark. But it's only after brightening the footage that the video becomes it's gonna even look more like scary. Him, right? This mysterious figure might just be the same person or thing caught in the previous photo. Now, it could be that a squatter is hiding inside his apartment. I but then again, some very unfortunately think that's most likely is that somebody is like living in his place or like it is like in his home because that person is too real. Like, yes, it doesn't have like it like you can see in the close up images like. His facial features look distorted. He looks really tall. It's really creepy, like whatever. But also, if somebody was like squatting in his house, would he just be staring at him from the dark? Like, would somebody just be standing there in the dark, like staring at the poster? Like, I don't think so. That is weird. It's weird. Oh. Now, it could be that a squatter is hiding inside his apartment. Stop, baby. But then again, some viewers think that this supposed person is actually something supernatural. There haven't been any further updates on the story. That's but until crazy. then, you be the judge on what was captured. Dude, that entire thing is so weird. I saw a TikTok about it, but like seeing those photos up close, like seeing it up close is so much more eerie. Thanks for watching, and I hope you enjoyed. Until next time. No, same, Sarah. Like, I just think that has to be a real person. I don't know. I just think it has to be a real person. Like, I, it's so unfortunate because I would love a world where that's not a real person, but it's too, when it's brightened up, it looks too much like somebody. It's not like a grainy, glitchy little figure in the dark that could be a person, could not be a person. Like, you could fully see this person. I don't know. I don't know. 
Either way, those were really creepy videos. I'm kind of impressed by this compilation. I was scared by every single one. Excuse me, scared by every single one. Oh, that was a mistake. Oops, sorry. I always do that when I try to move my webcam over. So with that, I'm going to probably play a little bit of music, but I'm going to head out here in the next like five-ish minutes. Um, thank you guys so much for being here, though. I had so much fun reacting with you all, hanging out, seeing these videos. Which one was our fave? I really think my favorite was probably the dollhouse. I think the dollhouse freaked me out the most, but I also loved the hands on the stairs. The hands on the stairs were creepy. They were all good, though. It's really rare that we find a good compilation of, like, consistently scary videos, and that's why Bizarre Bub is the goat. So, um, Sam Momo, thank you for 10 months. Love you so much. Iris Dissection, thanks for the super chat. Have, happy birthday, Loie. What kind of music do you like? I like a little bit of everything. I'm going to play just some little, um, some, like, lo-fi right now but i like everything i taylor swift's my favorite artist in case you didn't know i love taylor swift i love k-pop i love i love a lot of pop music i love everything my um karaoke debut song tonight will be my way by frank sinatra which will be really slay i think love jazz love everything i love all music my parents are musicians and my brother is too i guess i also technically was but i don't really play music anymore honestly like i used to but Teffy said, have fun tonight, stay hydrated, get an Uber home, and happy birthday, girl. Thank you so much, Teffy49. I appreciate you. I will have fun. I will be safe. We are not driving at all. I'm not driving myself anywhere, basically, this weekend, period. Um, I have wonderful friends who will play DD, or I can get, like, a lift or anything. So we'll be good. We'll be good, I promise. Angie, thank you for your super chat. Love you, Loey. Have the best time out on the town. I'm so excited. I'm so excited. I'm so excited. I'm so excited. And literally stop what is dinner with my best friend. Oh my God. Today's such a good freaking day. Today's such a good day. Does Loey listen to Lana? Not like religiously, but I listen to Lana. I like Lana. Been hydrating. This is just um, some water with some pink lemonade mix. Um, uh, and yes, hydrating. I'm also not really planning on drinking. Um, I mean, I might have like a drink, but really and truly, your girl is so much better on that, um, that generally speaking uh, devil's lettuce kind of life. Like it just makes me feel better than alcohol literally ever could like after i drink i just feel like ass but what can you do i love you all i love you so much thanks for being here i love you this was such a wonderful birthday so far and it's literally like not even started um i love that i got to spend the first chunk of my afternoon hanging out with you guys and spending some time with you one-on-one -on -one. um i'm gonna go get changed and get my stuff together and get ready for dinner i have i i i it's my birthday it's my 30th birthday that's weird that's really weird. <laughs> like, really weird. Thank you guys so much for saying happy birthday. Wait, do you want to see my dinner outfit? Hold on, I didn't show you my dinner outfit. I think it's a really good outfit, so I'm gonna show it to you. Um, let me show you. I actually got the top and, and again, please excuse my messy freaking room. I was trying on so many clothes, but that's, I think, going to be my dinner outfit. This, like, maxi skirt. This little corset top. I don't know. We'll see. We'll see. I think that's going to be my dinner fit. I'm also thinking I might need to maybe, like, bump up the makeup, but it does look good. So I don't know. I love you all. It is Dirty 30, baby. I literally, when I, when I return. Okay, so for those of you who are here, I know a lot of people have already left, but... For those of you who are still here, I will stream tomorrow. I stream every single Sunday evening. Um, so Scream Stream Sunday is still happening. Miss Moo, I'm so terribly sorry, but we are ending. <laughs> um, but we will stream again tomorrow. And um, I probably will show up looking like a rat. 
it's gonna be like, I think sort of incredible. The absolute, um, the, the, the difference between how I look right now in this moment to how I'm going to look tomorrow, I will look like a rat and I'm so ready to be ratty with you all. Um, I just wanted to be able to spend my birthday weekend with you. So I'm excited for tomorrow. I had so much fun with you all today. Thanks for being here for this quick little, like less than a two hour stream. Um, I'm gonna go get my stuff ready and I'm gonna get going. Thank you for the happy birthday wishes. Thank you for all the subs and gifted and just the chats and the, um, the love and for appreciating my dogs and for hyping up my outfits and just thank you very much. I truly um, do not know what my life would look like without YouTube. I don't know what my life would look like if I did anything other than this. This is my favorite platform in the world. Um, I, I, I literally will just never stop making YouTube videos and it's so wonderful that I have an audience of like 2.3 million people who all really, really freaking like me, who wanna hang out with me on my big days. Like that's just not something I ever take for granted. Like this is not something I ever take for granted. Um, being able to connect with you and talk with you and share big experiences with you is, it's, it's truly just as special to me as any other relationship I have in my life. Um, you guys are my most darling friends in the world and I love you very, 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 very much. I'm gonna have so much fun tonight. It's gonna be a good birthday. I'm gonna say my final thank yous. <laughs> um, uh, Christina said, welcome to Dirty 30 Club. Thanks girl, and thanks for that super chat. I love it here. I honestly, I love it here. Um, and thanks for your first stream ever. Thanks for being here. Your profile photo is beautiful. Um, and then I missed one from Avery Rain Nil. Enjoy your night. Thank you, love. And thanks again for joining the channel memberships. All right. All right, baby, it's my 30th birthday. I'm gonna go out on the town and I will see you all tomorrow if you can make it. And I love you, I love you so much. Bye, thank you so much for being here again. I really appreciate it. Love you. <laughs>